Hello everyone. I am doing, I guess it would be called a mini vlog because I'm going to lunch with CSG and Gail, but we're going to the club of one of them and it's located within the community where they live and it's gated. So I don't think I'll be vlogging it. Plus we haven't gotten together as a threesome in months. So we have a lot of catching up to do. But if I can, I will. I did want to talk about my makeup a little bit. Um, also, it's pouring. It's, let's see, 76, 75, 76 degrees. And it's absolutely pouring today. And I just got a text from one of the girls and um, she suggested umbrellas and flip-flops. And I already have my umbrella and flip-flop or she suggested appropriate shoes. So. I do have nice sandals on and I will be changing out of them to put on my flip-flops because it isn't covered where we're going <laughs> to get to the, the club. Um, so welcome to spring summer in Southwest Florida. The rainy season has begun. It's been raining for several days. We needed it like crazy because we've had fires that have burned 81,000 acres in the Big Cypress Preserve, so hopefully this is going to help the situation. Also, I wanted to talk to you about Southern Charm really quickly. I am a big fan. I have watched this reality show from the beginning. It takes place in Charleston, South Carolina, and I'm sure it's my Southern roots that makes me so attached to this program, but I wanted to talk about Thomas Ravenel and Catherine Dennis. My feeling is I love them as a couple. I love Catherine. I have been a fan of hers from the beginning. She's much younger than Thomas Ravenel, I think is about 56, 55, and she is, I think, now about 25, but when they met, she was, I think, 20, 21, very young. They now have two children together. They are not married. They've gone through some rough patches. They are not together right now, but every time I see them together, I just, I would love to see them together and be a family. And I think, I think the issue is more so Thomas Ravenel. I wanna know what you all think if you watch this show. I think he is afraid to make himself vulnerable. I think he is, very attracted to Catherine. He always has been. I think he is in love with her. I think he always has been. Um, he admires her for probably the same reasons he gets irritated with her, but he is afraid. I don't think he believes she really loved him or could love him. So let me know what you guys think. Do you watch the show? If you don't know about Southern Charm, I will put the link on my blog. Everything I talk about, my clothes, my makeup, everything will be on my blog. And that link to my blog, like always, will be down below. It will say all item links. If I'm in and out of frame here, it's because I am holding my camera with the best side of the, I mean my phone, with the best camera towards me, which is not the selfie side. The selfie side kind of blurs out the picture a little bit, I've noticed, and the other side is much better. It's more clear, so I thought you could see my makeup. Um, my makeup is a new thing for me. I'm actually wearing the halo effect. I'm using a shadow in my non-movable part of my lid, which is very unusual for me. I very much like the look. It's much more dramatic for me than I'm normally used to. It's a bit more dressy than I would do for the outfit I have on, but I'm just going to be with girlfriends and they know I'm always experimenting anyway. So, but I love this makeup look, at least the way it looked in the mirror. I don't know how it's going to look on camera. I love it with a dressy outfit, you know, higher heels, um, good jewelry, um, not a t-shirt top, a dressier top, a dressier outfit for lunch, a dressier occasion, and definitely for evening. I think it's a really nice look. The eyeshadows, 
I don't think I've talked about them before. They're by Gabrielle, so they're all natural. I've got two eyeshadows on. My cheek color is a lip and cheek tint by 100% Pure. It's new. I will put that on my blog. My lip color, I'm wearing a lip liner and a gloss, which I have worn before but never used this combination. So I'll put all the information on my blog. This is the first time I have used a lip liner as just a lip liner. And then I filled in with the gloss. Well, actually I do have them here. I just can't take them out because I'm holding the phone. So this is the two colors. Um, I will swatch them and then I'll insert the swatch, but the lip liner is really creamy, so I've used it as a lipstick actually quite a lot with Shea Butter, but today I'm using it just with the um, gloss in the middle. I'm second wear of a new foundation and I will be reviewing it. I'll be reviewing the lip uh, and cheek tint also in the future. But if you want to know about all those, I'll put it on my blog. I think that's all I wanted to say. I'm hoping, well, I have 30 minutes. I was hoping I could go to Nordstrom, return something, and then get to lunch. I'm going to attempt to do that. So I will, I'll check back with you. I'm going to ask one of the girls to try to get me, or get my outfit on my phone so I can show you what I'm wearing. It's very summery. And as you can tell probably from the sound, it's boring. But I will check back in in a little bit. It's funny, I still wear sunglasses even when it's pouring because of the glare. Nordstrom and I have about 25 minutes before I have to be at lunch so hopefully I'm doing fine. Luckily there's a covered garage here so I got parking so I'm not getting wet. Here's my, it's a, actually a dress that um, I love it but the color, I don't know, I think the color just isn't right for me. I do love rainy days. Everything looks so green and lush when it rains. Let me show you my shoes. My dress is returned and I am on the upper crosswalk, I guess you call it, from Nordstrom to the parking garage. Headed back to the garage and I'm doing okay on time. I'm just going to take the stairs down rather than the escalator. Ah, little drippage here. I got tripped on a little bit, but I'm dry. That's nothing compared to what it's gonna be when we try to race from the car to the 
cloud, but it is calming down a little. Thank goodness it's not pouring. Maybe it'll be perfect when we get there. I'm definitely taking off my sandals though right now and putting on my flip-flops. I changed my mind. Because it looks like it's not going to be raining so badly, maybe not at all. I'm not putting on my flip-flops yet. I may change my mind. I'm going to take them in my bag with me, so if it's raining when we leave, but I think I'd rather not if I don't have to. doing great on time it's 11:32, and we don't have to meet until 11:45, so I'm fine so I will check back in with you as soon as I can it may be after our lunch I don't know so we'll play it by ear I changed into my flip-flops after all and I put my sandals in this plastic bag and then I will put the bag in my black canvas bag because it is raining and it's not covered. So I thought maybe it was going to stop raining, but that was wishful thinking. At least it's not pouring, but I am a few minutes early, so I'm really proud of myself. My phone is about to die, but Gail was able to get a video of me wearing my outfit that is coming up next. Thank you, Gail. And thank you all of you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Information about everything I'm wearing and my makeup will be on my blog with links. That link to my blog will be down below. It will say all item links. Thank you again, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye. Gail is going to video me while I